today we are going to talk about how you can easier create your one login and register a beautiful responsive page for your one WordPress website. Also, inside this video, we are going to cover how you can hide your WP admin page so you can protect it your website. So let's go to WordPress dashboard. And before we do anything, we have to make sure the appearance theme. We have a theme and our theme is activated. So in this video, because in a simple tutorial, I will use this simple theme because we are going to simple focus on log in and register page on. so after making sure your team is activated you go to plugins and add a new plugin you search for elementor and you have to install this plugin elementor website build because this plugin is going to help us to customize all pages inside our WordPress website. So after install and activate this plugin, you have to search for other plugin. The second plugin here we are going to use it all limited member this plugin so we have to use this plugin all limited member user profile user registration login and membership plugin so make sure to install and activate this plugin also we have Two other plugins, we have to make sure to install them by this plugin right here. So, make sure to install this plugin because we are going to tell you about it a little bit later in the inside the video. I will use this plugin. Also, we go back to plugins. We stay one more plugin. We have to install it and activate it. this plugin right here. We have to install and activate this plugin. So after we install all four plugins and activate them. We go to pages and we need to edit new two pages. One page we call it login and the second page we call it register. After we create two pages we have to go to settings And we scroll down and save our changes. After we do all that, we go now to our limited member and we go to dodgeball. So inside our limited member here, over view, you can see guys in the dodgeball. How many users that you have? And you can track all all users, your users inside your WordPress website. Also, you have to go to 
Lens. You can see that we have login form and register form. So let's go to login form first. Go click on edit. And here you can see that we have login form. So we can customize our login form as we want. So to edit anything to our login form, simply we click on this plus icon right here and we can edit anything that we want inside our login form. Like if you want the user, you can edit like uh, social media for example. Like, you can register with the username or the email and the password. You can edit it with this. But make sure to keep it as required and check the box then data. By default, it's going to be uh, like this, but just keep in mind and make sure it this box, check it and update it. The same thing for password. After you are comfortable and happy with login form, and here inside our register form we can make our changements as we want. So we can ask the user edit anything that we want by clicking on this plus button right here. So we can ask the user to edit for example social media links whatever that we want register or just keep it simple like username, first name, last name, address and Password. And then we are happy with everything here. We are ready to go. So, before we go to our pages, we have to make sure all these forms are required, as we say right here. So, we go to page or pages. Now we can customize our login page. So we can edit it with a tool and it's on click and tap. Okay, so after we open login page with Inventor, it's not going to be all weight like this one. So first of all we have to go to settings, we go to our settings and we go to page layout. Going to by default, we have to make sure to keep it elementor canvas. Click on elementor canvas, then we click on update. So it's going to be page with And we have this plus icon right here, click on it and edit a new section. It's going to be pause the column, and we have to click on edit right here. And then we have to go to comments gap, it's going to be by default, we have to make it no gap. And after that, in the higher, it's going to be a default to make it feed to screen. So it's going to take the whole screen right here. Also, if you want to change the background color, you can or edit an image for the background, you can go to stylize and go to class, and you can edit the image or you can change the color or video or whatever you want. But in this case, it's not it, we are going to keep it very simple and very basic so it, everyone can understand the idea. Okay, after we do that, we click on update and we go to these icons right here, click on it and we go to this section and we have to drag and draw inside the page right here, inside the plus icon right here. So it's going to give us two columns and go back to this icon, click again, and we edit an image in this section right here, we drag and drop. 
So here we can edit an image, a video, whatever we want, a text, whatever we want. But in this case, as we say, I'm going to keep it very simple and basic with a nice beautiful design. Okay, so here we will edit an image, click on the image. If you don't have any image in your media library, you have to upload an image from your device. But I have an image here, I'm going to use it. So you import the image and you import it. Right, so we have the image right here. And before we do anything, we go back and we update. So to keep our update. Okay, we go back to icon, we click on it again. And here, have to edit a short code so we type short and we drag and drop short code right here okay so I want to edit one more section so we go to icon and we get an image and we drag and drop the image on the top from the short code right here and we edit it right here and we go to image, we click on it and we will edit our uh, logo so if you have a logo you want to edit the logo uh, on the top of uh, your login or register page so it will be more uh, attractive, more professional uh, so you can edit that so in this case we are going to edit our logo and we import our logo but as you see here our logo is uh, big a little bit so we have to resize it so we have to go to stylize and we go to this section weight and we can in my case you can resize it as matching at your uh, logo so in my case I'm going to make it uh, 35 and we can update and we go back to uh, short short code and we click on edit and we have to get our code right here so to get the code we go back to the dashboard and we go to Ill uh, unlimited member and we go to forms and as you see here in the login we have short code so we copy this short code right here we copy the short code and we go back to Elementor page and we passed our chart code right here right so it's not going to be visible for you don't worry so after we edit our short code right here we go to advance and we go to this section right here the margin we have to make some changements right here so we click on this icon right here it's going to be like this Wait. and in the top and in the bottom, we have to make some change. So here, I'm going to make it 100 by 100. And here in the pending, we are going to make also same changements. So on this icon right here, and we have to in the top make it 15, and all the rest you are going to keep them 13. Right. So after that, you can close this section and you scroll down and you can go to border. You can go to the border and here we can keep it like, for example, 20. And here for box shadow, we click on box shadow. It's going to give us box shadow and we can change the color uh, as we like we can make the background for our uh, box shadow color that we want so in my case i'm going to use the color i have it right here so i'm going to keep leave this uh, code for you in the description you can use the guide in the text file so after i added my color for my box shadow Go back and we close this. Then we go to the customize CSS. So in this section, it's not going to be 
valuable for you if you use a uh, free version from Inventor. So I'm using the pro version from Inventor. You can uh, download the pro version from Inventor. I will leave the link in the description. You can download it and you can use it. So after you open uh, Costing CSS, you go to the link I'm going to leave it for this text and all you have to do and you will copy all this code then you pass it right here and you have to copy it right so let's see how our uh, page is going to look like top and bottom yeah, we shall to make it on right and left I make a mistake so yeah keep it like this right and left not a bottom so after we fix that do it again and we go back to our page and we're going to see how it is Right, much better. But this image right here, we need to make it a bit in the center with this page, with this login form. So we have to go back and we can we can go to these icons right here and we go to space and then we, we drag the lower space in the bottom in the top for this image and we can resize the space as we match so we're going to try with 15 and we're going to see how it look like okay look right much better in the center so our login page look very beautiful and uh, very attractive so with our logo right here and our form right here and our image right here. So as we say we can you can change your background, you can change the image right here, you can edit the text, you can do whatever you want. So in this video I'm going to keep it very basic and very simple so that you can understand how you can customize the image page. So here we have two buttons. We have login and register. So login and register. If we click on register, it's not going to do anything because we did not create our register page. Oh, so we have to create our register page, customize it. So we go back to login and we go back to and we can close this page and we go back to dashboard inside WordPress and we have to open register page with Elementor. So I'm going to do the same etap for register page. Okay so register form I make the same changement. I do the same setups that we did in the login page but they are same different by um, register form and we create the short form right here to make the margin 15 in the right and 15 by the left and in the pending I make it 5 in the top, 13 in the right, 5 in the bottom and 13 in the left and on the space right here in my case why I'm using this image so it's going to be different for the image and the size of the image that you use it for your login page you can keep trying it until you get a good uh, re re result. So, in my case, I keep the space right here 113. So, yeah, our final work. But, we did create our register and login page. So we are going to refresh our login page and we have to try and 
click on register and to the calls and to the register page. So it's working fine. So as you see, when you click on the register page, register button, it takes us to register form. And if we click on login button, it's going to take us back to login to form. So we'll take out one more thing. After using the register, where you want him to redirect him inside your WordPress website. You can simply do that by go back to WordPress dashboard and you go to ultimate member and you go to forms and you go to login form and here in the right side you can see customize the form it's going to be no like this you have to make it yes and you scroll down a little bit then you can see this option right here it can redirect after login it's going to be by default so you have to choose the right uh, choice for you so in this case you have to edit redirect to url so after you click on this it's going to give you option that you can edit the url for your specific page that you want to that you want the user redirect into after he log in but for register not the same if we go to form and we go to register this option is not possible for this uh, form but in this case you can use another method so how you can redirect the user uh, into a specific page after he register simply you can go to because in this case Recording directly inside this plugin with profile form, which we did not talk about profile because we focusing on register and log in. So if you want to redirect the user after register in a specific page that you want to create it or a specific plugin, for example, that have a specific style or whatever that you want, you can do that. But in another method, so you go to plugins, you edit a new plugin. So after creating our two pages, now we can protect our WP admin. WP admin. So we can protect our website. So for example, if we go to OK, we can see that we have uh, the domain name and we have index PHP login page. That's the URL for our login page. But if they are someone who wants to attack our website, how we can protect it, our admin page. So he, he type WP touch admin and you press enter. It's going to redirect him to our admin page and he can simply try and maybe he can hack in your website. So we talk first about limit login. So we go to limit login right here. By default it will be automatically activated so all we have to do we go to settings and we can check this box right here and this box right here and we can keep the hog for three so the user if he for example attack and try to log in into your admin page three times it's going to 
block the IP address and it's not going to allow the user uh, to access into admin page after two time so we scroll down and we click and check this uh, section right here you can edit the IP that you want uh, uh, you can edit your one IP for example right here so from your laptop you can access but from other uh, laptop or other devices that one can access also we can go to the second plugin it's called hide my WP we click on it okay, after we go to hide my WP we go to and scroll down inside the hide WP and we can see we have multiple uh, options that we can uh, enable them to protect our website so we simply need to enable all these features we want to hide our uh, WP admin so here if we go to admin security for example it's going to be WP admin by default so you can change the name here whatever that you want for example you can make it any name that you want and we activate all this then we click save right so here it's going to ask you if it's working or not you can test and try your login so let's try to gather if our website is working and here we are inside our website and we're going to test and try wp admin see it not working so it's not redirecting us to the admin page so if we click again and we try again to slash wp admin and we click it's going to redirect it us inside and keep us inside the home page and wish that right so this is it for today guys this is how you can simply create login and register page beautiful register login page and you're protecting your wp admin uh, from uh, other users so no one can access into your uh, wordpress dashboard no one can hack your wordpress website so this is for today and hopefully this video is going to helpful i'm going to leave all links inside the description for everything you can uh, download uh, the plugin that i use it uh, elementor pro also i'm going to leave the text uh, file for the css and uh, for this css design and uh, you can use it for free so this is for today see you in the next video